Atlas and Art. Have you got it? Sebastian's got it already. Hold on. Sebastian's got it there. Let's see. Oh, I need to look at my binoculars now. There. Okay, let's see. It's streaking down the front and the very red head. Everyone, I think this is the golden-tailed woodpecker. I'm going to double check. I'm going to double check before we get excited. These woodpeckers do look quite similar, as you know, but I think it is. Yeah, I don't have to. It is the golden-tailed woodpecker. How wonderful is that one to add to the list? It's just uh, just checking the cardinal, but uh, oh, hang on, Seb. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to see now. The I need to see that head a little bit better. Now the size is the size is usually a giveaway, but this bird is jumping around a bit. Come on. Jump up. <laughs> but look at it working away at that branch. Now that is looking for food, that knocking that it's doing. I just needed to jump up onto the branch so we can see it a bit better. But well spotted, Seb. So before we count it, let's just double check. See, both the cardinal and the golden tail have got some streaking down the, the front. But there's a lot of red mm. on that head. Um, No, there should be a bit of red under the face there. This is a cardinal woodpecker, everyone. Um, if it was a golden-tailed... So we just need to see the top of that head. See the shadow. Come on, just we just need the light on it. <laughs> Sometimes it's so frustrating just to get a proper glimpse, but I think this is actually... Uh, come on. <laughs> Almost there. No, uh, I think that is a, I think that is a cardinal woodpecker, everyone, not a, yeah, I don't think it's a, yeah, it's a cardinal woodpecker, I can see it now better. All spotted, they said, but it is a cardinal, it is not the golden tail, just looking now at the, the head, I can see the colours and markings a lot clearer there. Cardinal woodpecker, well, nice to see that. Mm. Um, and as I said, it is a little bit smaller. Sometimes the size is hard to hard to gauge. You know, judging by the markings on the body, and beautiful woodpecker, that red head. You can see it actually getting some bugs out of the... Uh, so Jake, you said, how does a woodpecker take that kind of force to the brain and to the head? Well, it's interesting, they've got the woodpeckers... Um, have got very long tongues and the tongue actually basically goes through the um, through the mouth and then wraps around the back of the, the, the head and acts as a, a bit of a, a cushion so that as well as I think there's a lot of cerebral fluid within the brain that helps um, act as a cushion and a, um, a kind of a 
uh, what, what is the correct word? Um, I've gone blank now, everyone, but it it, um, it it absorbs the knock better. So, with that tongue wrapped around the brain and the fluid in the in the in the brain and the head, it helps act as a. What is the word? Uh, <laughs> uh, do, do you know what I mean? I can't. I feel a blank, everyone. Sorry. And it, it absorbs the recoil almost. No, no. Uh, anyway, but um, so it absorbs the, the, the recoil, the knocking, the, um, that, um, what, it, anyway. <laughs> um, but apparently James did dissect one. You could see that tongue, how long it is, and it wraps around the brain. So that's how it does absorb that knock and protects the brain and the head. But it is amazing. So we um, try to see where our Ellies have gone. Yeah. Let's have a look around.